guys happy tuesday hope you're all doing amazing this question from this wonderful person is how to deal with long distance relationships i think that's a really good one and i will have to say that i've personally never been in a long-term long distance relationship my husband and i were away from when we were first dating for six months but if it's longer than that i think that the same basic principles that apply to a relationship in a close proximity close distance apply for a long distance I think the only difference is it's much harder because we have a lot of desires and urges that cannot be fulfilled when someone is not physically there with you I will say I think we are probably in the best era right now to have a long distance relationship because there are things like FaceTime and zooming and all of that where we didn't have before so I think one of the best things to do in a long distance relationship is to have a date night and I know that sounds weird because how can you have a date night when you're not physically there but I think one of the things that really kind of brings down long distance relationships from my understanding through some of my clients is that you never have that time together whereas when you're physically in close distance you have that time together so why not just put away a date on the calendar once a week or if possible more would be great where you have a particular amount of time just as you would on the normal date three four hours where you guys are grabbing a glass of wine maybe even the same glass of wine maybe the same bottle of wine and you zoom and you make prior plans to have a similar meal and a similar bottle of wine so that you can enjoy the same food and beverage as you guys are talking. One of the things that makes a date go by is that you're enjoying the same atmosphere and the same food and the same drink. So this way, you're essentially kind of creating that except you are in a distant place. So that's one of my recommendations. Another recommendation is obviously to be in constant contact, but to make sure that it is reciprocated both ways. I always say to my couples who are separated or have a relationship long distance that they both give the other one attention with phone calls and FaceTime and text messaging. They Things will quickly start to fall apart when one person is always the one reaching out and the other person is not reaching out. Another good point to really take note of is to understand the person's schedule and to be wary of a time difference in a long distance relationship. You don't want to be the selfish person that is always expecting that person to call you when it's your morning and their midnight. That's just not fair. So you really have to compromise and make sure that you are on the same page when it comes to the time difference and that you're compromising as much as the other person is compromising. And last on my list is since you cannot give a lot of physical attention to one another, that you do a lot of sweet things over text messaging or even emailing letters, kind of going old school with the letters, but I think it can be really sweet, and sending each other little things by mail. If it's not a letter, it could be something sentimental. It doesn't have to be anything big, but just the way for you to show, hey, I'm here, I'm thinking of you. I hope this helps. Happy Tuesday, and I will see you guys soon.